Hey guys, welcome to day 94 of Quarantine Cuisine. Shown is home, I'm with Parks as usual. And we made duck yesterday and we have just the tiniest bit of duck left, this duck breast, so I cut it up. I'm gonna make a duck breast salad. And this, this salad's gonna have duck in three different ways in it, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do, and I just got chills before I even said it, is we're gonna make duck fat french fries. Come with me. Okay, I only cut up one potato because I didn't want to eat so many fries because these are my favorite fries in the entire world. There's nothing better than duck fat fries. If you've never had them, go get a whole duck, cook it, save the oil, drain it, strain it, and make this. I, my hair's standing up, literally. I have duck fat fry chills. Okay, so we're gonna just, you know, what I like to do is just make sure my oil's ready to go. We put a wooden spoon in, we see all that activity. That's fantastic, okay? So we're gonna drop these in. You know, I put them on the mandolin and then I put them in a salad spinner and I rinsed it until the water was clear to get the starch off. And then I'm drying them on a paper towel. And I put them in slowly because the oil's gonna rise and I don't wanna have an overflow, okay? So better to do it in batches than have an accident, okay? I think that looks good. Probably get the rest of these in here. And these are gonna cook pretty fast because they're super thin. And you could probably use this oil like probably two or three times, as long as you're not doing like fish in it. Okay, so that's fantastic. So we got fries and duck fat. Oh my God, Parker, you just wait. You've never had duck fat fries, have you? Uh, no. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, so I'm just moving these around, make sure nothing's sticking. Okay, and now we'll just let the oil do their magic. Let's go back over here, okay, Pox? Okay, so we're just moving these around. We're making sure that they don't stick. Now let's go over and compose our salad. So that's the first thing. We have fries and duck fat. Okay. In this bowl, I have some frisee that I cleaned and a little bit of iceberg lettuce. And to that, I'm gonna add our duck that I just cut up. It's not a lot, but it's enough. You know, we don't have to have so much animal protein at every meal, it's totally fine and it's got, you know, it's full of flavor. So we've got that. And then I have some of those um, caramelized onions that were on the bottom of our pan of duck that we made in the oven. So the duck is, you know, kind of spicy because we put this Szechuan pepper sauce with the, you know, just add beer and the onions are really sweet. So I'm also gonna add some red onions raw for a little bit of a bite. I have some sliced almonds. Save a little bit for the top. And then I have some figs, which are gonna be a really nice addition to this. Look at that color. Look at that color, Parks. How beautiful. Wow. Hi, Rob Blyfer, if you're watching. Every time I look at a fig, I think of you. You remember Rob from Food Network, the executive chef? I do. I remember going by there. Yeah. You were introducing me to him. Yes, and we went to culinary school together. Which is crazy. Okay. So, we have that. Look at how beautiful that is. And then what I did was I took the sauce from our duck, the Szechuan sauce, and I'm using it as a dressing, and I warmed it up a little bit. So we're just going to put that over the top. Not a lot, because it's very strong and spicy. Okay, so we're gonna plate this up. Look at how beautiful that is. Wow. We might need a little bit more dressing. And then to that, we made duck fat popcorn. I know, which is so unbelievable. So we're gonna use that as kind of like a crouton in our salad. You didn't see that coming, Parks, did you? No, definitely didn't expect that. Okay. So we've got, look at this big salad we just got out of that. 
beautiful. all this goodness in here it's just us so I can use my fingers you guys okay okay as Britt would say okay okay that looks lovely little balsamic syrup at the end, but I'm going to wait a minute for our fries. Let's go check them out, okay? Looking good. Okay, they need just a couple more minutes. Almost there, guys. Another minute or so. Parker, this is going to change your life. So I made this duck fat popcorn last night. We just literally, I did it for like a TikTok. And um, I just used microwavable popcorn. And I had my duck fat that was hot out of the oven. And I poured it over the popcorn and added some salt and just tossed it in a bowl. And Parker was like, ew, like, what are you doing? And Parker doesn't really like popcorn. He ate three quarters of the bowl before I even had a chance. I couldn't stop. He couldn't stop because of what? <laughs> the flavor. The flavor. It was the flavor. Yeah. I've never seen him eat popcorn like that. Like even when we go to the movies, I, he I, never I, gets popcorn. I don't know what happened. Something snapped. Something went, went haywire in your brain. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what happened. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, so these are looking phenomenal. What a nice lunch we're having today, Parks. Yeah. Okay, let's turn this oil off. And I have my, just give it one more second. One more second. What are you looking for, the color? Just golden brown and you can kind of hear it. You hear the sound of that? Yeah, it's kind a of rustling. Petty, a rustling, yes. Okay, so we're gonna drain these on some paper towels. And what I'm gonna do is, once this oil cools, I'm gonna strain it again, because I'm not letting this fat go. I'm gonna do like a couple more things in it over the next few days. And then I'll get rid of it. So that's a, a regular oil with a duck fat added to give it that flavor? It's it's like three quarters duck fat and like one quarter canola. But it, if you have enough duck fat, then by all means, don't even put yeah. the other oil. But I needed to supplement just a little bit. Yeah. But tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Okay. So we're just going to dry these off. Get that excess fat off. And we're going to add some salt, a decent amount of salt. And what might be nice, nah, no, don't go crazy, Shone. Take it easy. Okay, now I'm adding some chopped rosemary to this. Okay, so put a little bit here for tasting now. But, look at this. Get this. Are you kidding me, you guys? I'm so, you know, I'm so happy that people are making these recipes and they're sending me pictures. It's so sweet. Oh my God. It just makes me so happy. 
My friend Dan is making my Asian brisket today. So excited to see what he thinks. Oh, that brisket is killer. It's so killer. Oh, oh my God. He's going to have such fun. Okay, guys. How does that look? Oh, my God. Okay, so that's the dish. Let me put a little balsamic syrup over the top. Oh. I was going to say, oh, SH, but... I, I can't even imagine what that tastes like. No, you can't. All the different flavors in there. Duck fat popcorn, duck fat fries, oh. duck breast. You guys, you gotta wow. make this. Um, anyway, you can do it's it. It's a meal. Of course it's a meal. That's a real meal. It's lunch. <laughs> it's lunch. <laughs> okay, you guys can do it, all right? Try it. If you have any questions, write me. Wow, this plate's mine. <laughs>